Welcome to this free CCNA Packet Tracer Practice Lab. You can download the lab file from the link in the description. If you like these labs, please consider supporting me via my Patreon or the cryptocurrency options in the description. Also, please subscribe to the channel for more labs like this. In this lab, we will troubleshoot PPP, the point-to-point -point protocol. I took the topology from the last lab and added two more pairs of routers. So R1 and R3 are authenticating using PAP, and R2 and R4 are authenticating using CHAP. However, there is one misconfiguration on each of them, which is preventing PPP from working. Let's go one by one and find the issues. Let's start on R1. Enable. Show interfaces S00. So the correct encapsulation, PPP, is used. However, the interface is up, down. Now, R1 should have a username packet and a password tracer configured, which SPR1 will use to authenticate. Let's check. Show run. There it is, so no problems there. Now, is R1 sending the correct username, Cisco, and password CCNA to SPR1? Looks like it isn't. The PPP PAP sent username password command isn't configured. Let's go fix that. Conf T. Interface S00. Shut down. PPP PAP sent username Cisco. Password CCNA. No shutdown. Do show IP interface brief. Okay, the interface is up, up. Let's try to ping SPR1. Do ping 100.0.0.1. Okay, looks like it works now. So we've solved the problem on R1. Now let's check out R3, which is also configured to use PPP with PAP. Enable, show interfaces S00. Again, correct encapsulation, but the interface is up, down. R3 should have a username CCNA and a password CSENT configured, which SPR3 will use to authenticate. Let's check for that. Show run. There it is. Is it sending the username Cisco and password CCNP to SPR3 to authenticate? Yes, it is. So what's the issue? It's the line right above here. PPP authentication CHAP. R3 is supposed to be using PAP, not CHAP authentication. Conf T, interface S00. Shut down. No PPP authentication CHAP. PPP authentication PAP. No shutdown. Do show IP interface brief. Okay, the interface is up, up. Let's try a ping to SPR3. Do ping 130.0.0.1. Great, it works. Next, let's go to R2. Enable, show interfaces S00. Same situation. Correct encapsulation, PPP, but the interface isn't up. R2 is configured to use CHAP authentication, so it should have a user account configured with the username SPR2, which is the host of the router, sorry, the host name of the router at the other end, and a password of CCNA, which must be identical to the password configured on SPR2. Show run. Username R2 password CCNA. There's the problem. It's configured with its own host name, but it should be SPR2's host name. Conf T. No username R2 password CCNA. Username SPR2 password CCNA. Now I'll go reset the interface. Interface S00. Shutdown. No shutdown. 
do show IP interface brief. Okay, it's up, up now. Let's try a ping. Do ping 200.0.0.1. Okay, looks like R2 is working now. Finally, let's go to R4. Enable show interfaces S00. Encapsulation PPP is correct, but the interface is down. Like R2, R4 should be using CHAP authentication. So it should have a username, SPR4, password CCIE configured. SPR4 being the host name of the other router it's connected to. Show run. Okay, that looks correct. Let's check the interface configuration. Okay, we're missing something here. The PPP authentication chap statement is missing. Conf T, interface S00, shutdown, PPP authentication chap, no shutdown. Do show IP interface brief. Okay, it's up, up now. Do ping 140.0.0.1. Okay, it's working. I've pre-configured default routes to the service provider on each router. So if I try to ping R2, R3, or R1 from R4, it should work now. Let's try. Uh, first, I'll ping R1. Do ping 100.0.0.2. Okay, it works. How about R3? Do ping 130.0.0.2. It works as well. And let's try R2. Do ping 200.0.0.2. It works as well. That's all for this lab. Thank you for watching. I hope this lab and video have been helpful for you. Please subscribe for future labs like this, which will be released weekly. If you have requests for any specific labs, let me know in the comment section. If you want to support my channel, I accept Bitcoin and Ethereum donations via the addresses in the description. I am also a Brave Verified Publisher and accept BAT or Basic Attention Token donations in the Brave browser.